Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. That's so tall. Yeah. Hey, Mr. O, check out our tower. Oh, wait, I wouldn't. No! no! I don't get it. Why did it fall? Yeah, we stuck the bricks together as tight as we could get them. Well, it's not about how tight you put them together. It all came down to your foundation. Our what? Your foundation, the base of your tower, it wasn't wide enough to support the height of your tower. Think of it like this. It comes down to center of mass. Center of mass is the point along an object where, if you look at all the matter in the object, the center of all that matter is located. You can kind of think of it as a focal point for gravity's effects, which is why some people call it center of gravity. But that term isn't technically correct, which is why I prefer center of mass. In the case of our towers, it's sort of like a tipping point. In the case of your tower, it is all made up of the same size of brick, more or less. So the center of mass is here, in the center. Basically, think of gravity's effects on the entire structure more or less focused here. So long as the center of mass is over the bottom of the tower, the tower is stable. But if it tips beyond the foundation, it falls. However, if we build a tower with a wider foundation, then the center of mass shifts downward because there's more mass at the base of the tower. Because the center of mass is lower and there's a larger foundation, the tower can be tipped further before the center of mass is beyond the foundation and it falls. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. I'm challenging my assistants to build the tallest cup tower. For this, you'll need cups. The rules are simple. You can only stack the cups mouth to mouth or base to base. You can stack them like a pyramid. The only thing you can't do is stack one inside the other. Our first tower will be only one cup wide. Let's see how tall we can get it. That tower was 11 levels tall. Let's try making one with a wider base to start. Levels tall. How tall do you think we can make it if we make the base even wider to start? What are you watching them for? Go build your own tower. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs> <laughs>